Hi and welcome to Little Hatchlings Art Lessons. I'm here with my second oldest. He and I are going to be drawing... A T-Rex. Yeah, and we're going to do a pencil sketch so that it looks more realistic. The T-Rex we're drawing actually comes from a book I just wrote and illustrated called The Ancient Redwoods. And you can check that out in the link below after we're done with the video, of course. After you're done drawing your T-Rex. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so you'll want to start with your T-Rex head over here, the body right here, and the tail right here. So make sure you leave enough space for all of those things. Okay, so this is going to be the snout on the dinosaur. Okay. And then this is the ridge above the eye that you can't see. And then you've got a nostril here close to this edge. And then one right here, the angle separate ways from each other. Okay. And then right here next to that, we've got this, whoop, we've got this backwards C shape. Okay. In fact, you can make it even a little bigger. There we go. Okay, so you've got this circle, the top of it kind of flattened. And then right next to it, we're gonna be making a ridge like this, kind of a swoop shape. And then we're going to shade right here. And then the eye goes right inside of that ridge. All right, so you draw a slit in the middle of the eye. And then we're gonna draw a ridge above. So you go from that line and skip and you start drawing the top of your ridge right there. Yeah, I like that. And then you'll angle down on this side and down on that side. And then it goes in again like this, see? And then back out. And then it angles out more. Okay, so now under this circle is where the teeth, well, so under the circle, you're gonna make this little curved line and it leads back to there, like those connect. Nice. And then we're gonna make the teeth after we do this line. So it goes up and then down and then it hooks over. And then we can make some teeth. All right, so now when we get to this point, we're gonna draw a little line that hooks in and then angles down. And you can draw a couple more teeth right there. Maybe even three. Cool. Okay, so that's the back part of the jaw. And here's the tongue. And then we've got this area in between the upper and lower jaw. And if you need to erase anything, just pause the video and you can get caught up. All right, so this upper jaw and lower jaw are pretty close to each other, but not quite connecting. They only connect through this little sinewy part. I don't know what it is. All right, 
So don't worry about the tongue too much. That just kind of blends in. So now just think about the jaw, okay? So it comes over, and then when you're right around this part, that's when you're gonna start going down. And you're gonna angle. And then I'm gonna come up here so I can see where it's gonna connect. Awesome. Okay, so now we're gonna draw the teeth down here. And right here in the front, they kind of come back a little bit. And they're not right up against that line. Oh, nice, you did it. Okay, so now we're gonna make kind of a, a line right here. And it angles like that. Then it goes over like that. And then it follows up for a little bit, the same as that, but then it gets wider. And then it curves in, and you got a little indentation there. And I forget to do the top of the head. <laughs> so we, we come back up here, and we go up and down. Sweet. So we'll come back and shade this at the end. Now we're gonna move on to the arms. So the arm comes out right about here. So I'm just gonna draw some shapes to help us block it in. So we've got like an oval here, another oval here, and a circle here. And then we can kind of trace around those to help us get the shape of that arm. Like that. And then the claw is like a hook right there and then right here. Itty bitty arms. All right, so now we're gonna we're gonna lightly sketch out the body. Okay, so measure the distance of the head, and then that's how far over the stomach goes. Okay. So from here to here needs to be the same as from here to here. So that's like where the stomach is, not the back side. Okay, like this will be the leg right here. And then the other part of the leg comes out right here. Okay. So this is like his thigh. So now we need to figure out where the other arm goes now that we've gotten his thigh in there. So the top of the arm is gonna be somewhere around here. I'm just lightly blocking that in it's kind of almost like center between those two. Yeah. So we've got the hold. elbow. I can't hold the pencil like you do. That's okay. I switch my hand grip all the time. Sometimes I go like this, sometimes I go like this. Just go with what you feel. All right, so you gotta make sure there's still little arms. And you make a little knob here and a little knob there. And then a hook again. 
and try to match about the same size as the hook or claws I mean oh, on the other side. Me. Cute! Looks good. All right so now this kind of curves down and then back up and then flattens out. Okay now the this thigh is so the front of the thigh comes out of this arm. Well, it doesn't come out of the arm, but you see it coming out behind that arm. And you angle down and over. This one comes down and in. And then back. So this line goes back and then down, and this line makes more of a curve. Do you see this curve right here? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and draw that. And then it angles forward, and then you got your toe. And then the back foot, like this. And then it makes this kind of more of a square shape curve forward. And then we can draw where the claws are going to be, or talons, whatever you want to call them. And then we've got this little talon coming out of the side too. And you can't see the third one, it's hidden. I can. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. That's okay, no big deal. All right, so let's get back to this thigh. So it kind of makes a little ridge right here, like up and down. And then it angles in for just a sec, and then it goes back out. And then it goes back in again. Okay, and then this one goes out like that, and then back in, okay, so we've got our little claw right here, so do you got that little claw on the side? Cool, all right, so now under that claw you come and make that curve, and then a claw. And then this middle claw, or talon, is more like that, like an upside down raindrop. And then the toe goes up like that on either side, and then it comes back out and you've got this last talon here that you can see. And then it goes up and joins up right there. So right out of this ridge, you're gonna have the line coming out for the top. Yeah. And it angles up and then angles up again at a slightly less angle. And then right when you're above that stomach line, that's when you start coming back down. like that. Nice. Okay, and then we've got the tail. So first let's do the underneath as it goes up and then stop and then come over like that and then stop and then we're gonna have it angle down. Just taper it into a point. All right, so now we're gonna start with our darkest shades first. The inside of the mouth is really dark.
Okay, so you can shade over the tongue too. Um, the teeth actually kind of cast a shadow, which is kind of cool. So you can make like teeth shaped shadows right there along the tongue. And then you can slowly, gradually get lighter as you go towards the other teeth. Oh, and underneath the tongue is kind of dark. I'm gonna make my tongue just a little bit longer. Just a quick little FYI, uh, now that we're doing the shading part for the dinosaur, sometimes I won't have any specific instructions as we're shading, and so during those parts, I will speed up the camera and, and take out the sound, but you can pause if you need time to catch up. So right here, we're gonna shade some more of this ridge. It leads down right next to the eye. So we're gonna shade around the eye. And then you can add these like little wrinkles going around the eye. Okay, buddy. Okay. Whoa, that's really dark. And then the eye itself. This oh, might be hard for you to see on the video, but you can do like little lines leading towards the center, just on the very outside. This guy looks like a demon. He's a scary T-Rex. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Okay. okay, so now shade right here a little bit. All right, so now we're gonna draw little lines that show the curvature, the curve of the nose. We're going to draw little lines that lead over. And make sure, I, I might have taught this, I don't know if you can tell on mine, but you need to have the, the top of the nostril thicker than the bottom part. Okay. I probably didn't show that very good at the beginning. You can draw like lines and scales and wrinkles. You can like look off of mine and see how I do it. <laughs> you can get my book and take a look at how I do it. And then some lines that curve up like that to show the curvature of the mouth too. This right here is a shadow. And you can even do some <laughs> sleepy. You can even do some shadows onto the teeth. And then more scales and lines going up this way. shading right here oh and then we gotta shade this circle so right here so if you hold your pencil kind of off to the side you can get like a softer shade like horizontal your make your pencil go kind of horizontal and try to shade that way it's not working for you it's looking good though So these kind of connect with the shadow. Look at this, right here. Hmm. This shadow kind of connects that circle with the eye. 
I can't really do that. Sure you can. All right, some more scales and lines and scars coming out. How about this? He has a scar across his eye. Ooh. There. Nice. <laughs> what got him? Another T Rex? Mm, a pterodactyl. Ooh. Velociraptor. Maybe that's what the pteranodon did to him when he tried to eat the pteranodon in my book. Yeah. That's the unseen part of the book. <laughs> All right, so shade right here up to that uh, edge of the jaw. Here's He's scary. We should title this Scary T. Because Izzy's was a cute T-Rex and ours can be scary T-Rex. All right, so this whole area is going to be shaded. All right, and the talons are extra dark. All right, so now keep shading over here. Okay, so the arm is gonna be a little darker on this side and you can make kind of some curves to show the form of the arm as it goes around. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Make those talons nice and dark. Okay, and then on this side it comes down and it's darker on this side of the arm. I mean on the belly on that side of the arm. And that helps the arm stand out. So now, what's going on with this stomach here? So you don't necessarily want this line to show up that much. It can all kind of blend. So we're gonna be shading all along this side. this is the dark side of his leg and then it gets lighter as it goes over so you can actually leave a little highlight in that talon if you have room in your talon okay so for the toes they'll be shading here, 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 and then most of this toe. And then the talons are really dark too. And you just leave a little highlight in them to show that they're shiny. this with lines that cross over each other into kind of scales. Ooh, you're bumping me. <laughs> now do some lines the opposite way to cross over each other so that they create kind of like scales. Yeah, but be more precise in your drawing. You want to think about it and not just have it be random. 
There you go. Okay, so don't draw too dark on that side because it's mostly dark on this side. Okay? Sorry. No, it's okay. And then you'll want like one of your core shadows, your darkest shadows, right here. And right here. All right, let's do the tail. The tail back here is gonna be dark underneath and then it gets lighter as it goes up. And then the way I'm gonna have it get lighter also is I'm gonna go the opposite way with my pencil and lift it up as I get nearer to the top. Now, um, the top of the back is gonna be quite a bit lighter. And in fact, we might wanna erase some of our line along the edge there. Let's see. So just as light as you can, draw along the top of the back. And then think about like a cylinder. So it's like darker down here and it's getting lighter as you go up. And then yeah, I am gonna go along here and erase that outer edge just so that it's nice and soft on that top edge and not too dark. <laughs> okay. And I'm gonna do that right here too. So this angle kind of looks like he's, he's alive. Cool. All right. So this thigh, it's gonna be pretty light over here too. So just light as you can along this edge. And also think of this as a cylinder, darker over here and getting lighter as it goes over. Did I do it right? Yeah, um, you might wanna erase some of those dark lines if you can. I need to erase them too. Which dark lines? The one along the edge of his thigh. Oh, this one? Yeah, that's pretty dark. Okay, so right here is a really dark shadow. Right here is a dark shadow that doesn't go to the edges of the thighs, it's just kind of down the middle of the thigh. Like that. And then you'll gradually get lighter on each side. And changing the direction of your pencil is always helpful too. 
All right, and then it gets lighter as it goes down. All right, now we need to finish our feet. We're not done. I'm not, we gotta do these talons and weren't you gonna fix that talon while we were at it? All right. So the talons are the same as on that side, except for you can only see two of them. And so, So we're gonna shade right here along this jaw. I mean like the front of the jaw. And then it gets lighter as it goes back. And you can do like scales and scars in here. And you can use your pencil strokes to show form. Thank you all for drawing with us. We hope you had a very good time. We'd love to see how yours turns out. Mm -hmm. So tag me at Sarah Hatch Art Studio on Instagram and show me your pictures. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our future videos and we will see you next time. Goodbye.